the Libyan Air Force is the branch of the Libyan military responsible for aerial warfare. In 2010, before the Libyan Civil War, the Libyan Air Force personnel strength was estimated at 18,000, with an inventory of 374 combat-capable aircraft operating from 13 military air bases in Libya. The Air Force was first established as the Royal Libyan Air Force in 1951. It was originally equipped with a small number of transports and trainers, Douglas C-47s and Lockheed T-33s. However, F-5 Freedom Fighters were delivered from 1967. In 1970 it changed its name to the Libyan Arab Republic Air Force. After U.S. forces left Libya in 1970, Wheelis Air Base, a previous U.S. facility about 11 kilometers from Tripoli, became a LAR Air Force installation and was renamed Okba Ben Nafi Air Base. The base housed the LARAF's headquarters and a large share of its major training facilities. From 1970 a significant expansion of the Air Force took place, with a large number of Soviet and some French combat aircraft being purchased. History equals Cold War equals during May 1967 the Kingdom of Libya reached an agreement with the United States to supply 10 Northrop F-5s to the Royal Libyan Air Force. These were the first fighters for the young Air Force which only operated at the time six Douglas C-47 transports and three Lockheed T-33A trainers. Fifty-six personnel underwent training at bases in the U.S., pilots at Williams Air Force Base. A U.S. survey team on expansion came to Libya in August 1968 to supervise the introduction of the fighters. Serviceability of the F-5s declined after the 1969 coup and it appears that most may have eventually been sold to Turkey. LARAF Soviet made MiGs 1725 fighters and to 22 bombers were based at Okba Ben Nafi Air Base. After the 1969 seizure of power by Colonel Gaddafi, Aircraft and personnel of the Soviet Air Force took residence at Okba Ben Nafi Air Base. With Soviet assistance, the Libyan Arab Republic Air Force was organized into a one medium bomber squadron with two Polov to 22s, three fighter interceptor squadrons, five forward ground attack squadrons, one counterinsurgency squadron, nine helicopter squadrons, and three air defense brigades deploying SA 2, SA 3, and Crotel missiles. Of the combat aircraft, the United States Department of State estimated in 1983 that 50% remained in storage, including most of the MiG fighters and a 22 bombers. In 1971, 11 civilian C-130s were delivered by the United States and converted in Italy to military versions. Four L-100-30s were purchased from the Philippines and Luxembourg in 1981. In 1976, 20 CH-47 Chinook heavy transport helicopters were acquired from Italy, 14 of which were transferred to the Army during the 1990s. The Libyan Arab Republic Air Force operated a large number of Mikwayan Gurevic MiG-25s, some sources say more than 60 were delivered. Types were of the MiG-25PD, MiG-25RBK, MiG-25PU and MiG-25RU variants. They were operated by No. 1025 Squadron at Jufra Hun, No. 1055 Squadron at Ardaba and an unidentified squadron at Saba Air Base. As of February 2007 Air Forces Monthly reported all aircraft of the type had been retired. In addition, Dassault Mirage 5 aircraft bought shortly after Gaddafi took power were also retired by 2008, becoming used for Pakistan Air Force spares. During the Libyan Euro Egyptian War in 1977, there were some skirmishes between Libyan and Egyptian fighters. Two LARAF MiG 23 milliseconds engaged two upgraded EAF MiG 21 MF and one MiG 23 milliseconds was shot down by EAF Major Sal Muhammad. The Air Force was also involved in combat against Tanzania in 1979 as part of the Uganda Euro Tanzania War to help its Ugandan allies with a single to 22 flying an unsuccessful bombing mission against the town of Mwanza. In the 1970s and 80s Libyan MiGs and two Polevs were common visitors to international airspace, close to Italy and NATO bases. On July 19, 1980, a Libyan People's Air Force MiG-23 crashed on the Sila Mountains in Castel Solano, Calabria, southern Italy. 
On June 27, 1980 an Italian plane exploded while en route from Bologna to Palermo, off the island of Ustica. The LPAF lost a total of four aircraft to United States Navy F-14 Tomcats in two incidents over the Gulf of Sergera, in 1981 and 1989. In addition, many planes were destroyed or damaged on the ground in 1986 when American planes attacked targets at Benazi and Tripoli airports. The Air Force was extensively used in the fighting in Chad in the 1980s, in support of Libyan ground units. It was reported that many Libyan people's Air Force bombing raids were carried out at excessively high altitudes when met with anti-aircraft fire, so the attacks were not very effective. On February 17, 1986, in retaliation for the Aladi Duma raid by the French Air Force, a single LPAF to 22B attacked the airport at N'Djamena. That aircraft ran into technical problems on its return journey a Euro-American early warning reconnaissance planes based in Sudan monitored distress calls sent by the pilot of the 222 which probably crashed before reaching its base at Ozo. One 22 bomber was shot down by a captured SA-6 missile during a Chadian attack on an abandoned Libyan base on August 8, 1987. Another 222 was lost on September 7, 1987 when a battery of French MIM-23 Hawk Sams shot down one of the two LPAF bombers that were attacking N'Djamena. The Chadians seized the Aladi Dome base in 1987 and destroyed or captured two SF-260s, three MIM-25s, two 22B bombers, 11 L-39 jets, two complete 9K-33 OSA Sam batteries, and a plethora of additional equipment, weapons, Supplies and ammunition a euro a good deal of which was flown out to France and the United States within the next five days. Four USAF C-5 Galaxy transport aircraft were sent to N'Djamena to collect the captured Jamea rear equipment. On September 5, 1987 Chadian technicals crossed into Libya and attacked the Martin al sar Air Base which is 96.5 kilometers within Libyan territory. The Battle of Martin al sara was a major victory for Chad and several LPAF aircraft were destroyed on the ground with only minor Chadian casualties. On October 8, 1987, an LPAF Su-22M22K was shot down by a FIM-92A Stinger missile in northern Chad. The pilot, Captain Dia al-Din, ejected and was captured. The LPAF immediately organized a recovery operation. Subsequently a Jamea rear MiG-23 flogger was also shot down by another Stinger. In December 1988 a Libyan People's Air Force SF-260 was shot down over northern Chad by Chadian troops. By contrast, the considerable Jamea rear cargo plane fleet was apparently employed effectively in Chad and elsewhere. Equals post a Euro Cold War to Libyan Civil War equals. With the dissolution of the Soviet Union and the elimination of military aid by the new Russian Federation, Soviet Russian support was drastically curtailed. The last major delivery of Soviet aircraft to the Libyan Arab Jamea was six Su-24 fences in March-April 1989. The Libyan Armed Forces Air Doctrine of the 1990s and 2000s appeared to be of an ad hoc nature, and contracted personnel from Yugoslavia, South Africa, Russia, North Korea and Pakistan provided piloting, maintenance and technical services. The 1990s drop in oil prices and a UN embargo made purchase of modern equipment almost impossible. UN sanctions were lifted in early 1999 and the Libyan People's Air Force started prospective negotiations with Russia about upgrades for its MiG-21s and MiG-25s while also expressing an interest in MiG-29s, MiG-31s and long-range SAMs. However, many of the transport and combat aircraft were in storage. In January 2008 the Jamea Rib bought four ATR-42 MP maritime patrol aircraft from Italia Euro unregistered trademark Esselenia. Before 2011, the LPAF MiG-21s did not fly at all due to reported serviceability issues and of 170 MiG-23s delivered, only 30 to 50 were believed to be flyable aircraft. Those ratios may have been similar for several other platforms. Equals Libyan Civil War slash NATO intervention equals. During the Libyan Civil War, Libyan People's Air Force warplanes and attack helicopters launched repeated airstrikes on protesters, 
reportedly targeting a funeral procession and a group of protesters trying to reach an army base. The human rights researcher Ahmed El Ghazar had reported that the Libyan News Center received a satellite phone call from a woman who was witnessing the massacre in progress. This information could not be verified, since phone lines in the country had been blocked. On February 21, 2011, two senior LPAF pilots defected a Euro. They flew their Mirage F-1 fighter jets to Malta and requested political asylum after defying orders to bomb protesters. On February 23, 2011, Pilot Abdesalam Adil Al Abdali and co pilot Ali Omar Al Qaddafi, a Euro crew of a Sukhoi 22, a Euro ejected with parachutes near Ordabir, 161 km west of Benazi, after refusing orders to bomb the city of Benazi. Anti Gaddafi forces and Syrian opposition groups claimed that Syrian pilots were flying attacks for the Libyan Arab Jamal Rear. Rebels claimed to have shot down Jamal Rear jets over Brega and Ras Lanwaf. At Brago Mirage F-1 was shot down and at Ras Lanwaf a Sukhoi Su-24 bomber and a helicopter were also forced down. Exactly how many and what types of aircraft have been shot down were not confirmed by Jamea rear government or independent sources. Using air power, the Libyan military checked the opposition advance westwards, towards Bin Jord in early March. On March 13, 2011, Ali Atelier, a colonel of the Libyan People's Air Force at the Mitiga Military Airport, near Tripoli, announced that he had defected and joined the revolution. Rebels claimed to have shot down what appeared to be a MiG-21 outside of Bahadi. On March 17, a Jamea rear Su-22M3K was shot down over Benin AB, the pilot ejected safely and was captured. On March 17, a free Libya Air Force MiG-21 UM crashed after takeoff from Benin Airport due to technical problems. It was flown from Adaba Air Base near Sirt to Benin by a defecting pilot the day before. On March 19, 2011, a rebel MiG-23 BN was shot down over Benazi by rebel air defense forces in a case of mistaken identity. The pilot ejected, but at a very low altitude, and was reported to have been killed as a result. BBC News reported on March 20 that the rebel aircraft was shot down by its own air defences. Two days later, the UN Security Council adopted United Nations Security Council Resolution 1973 which legitimised the operation. US and British warships launched more than 120 Tomahawk cruise missiles against Jamea rear air defences and four US B-2 stealth bombers attacked several airfields. On March 23, 2011, British Air Vice Marshal Greg Bagwell was quoted by the BBC saying that the Libyan People's Air Force no longer exists as a fighting force, and that Libyan air defences had been damaged to the extent that NATO forces could now operate over Libyan airspace with impunity. On March 24, 2011 several media sources reported that a French Dassault Rafale destroyed a G-2 Galeb near Misrata. Initial reports of the French action said the LPAF plane a G2 slash Galeb with a single engine, was in the air when it was hit. French military spokesman Colonel Thierry Burkhard later said the plane had just landed when the attack took place. On March 26, 2011, the French Air Force reported that five Soko G2 Galeb aircraft were destroyed on the ground at Misrata Airport together with two Mi-35 helicopters, but satellite images showed that the five fixed-wing aircraft were MiG-23s. A Belgian Air Force F-16 hit a Libyan People's Air Force Su-22M3K plane on the ground during an operation on March 27. On May 7, 2011, after weeks of complete inactivity, the Libyan People's Air Force conducted a successful air raid over the rebel-held fuel depots at Misrata setting them on fire. The rebels reported that the raid was conducted with crop-dusting aircraft, but probably SF-260 light attack aircraft were used taking off from Misrata Airport. NATO failed to intercept the bombing mission. Following the defeat of forces loyal to Muammar Gaddafi and the rebel victory in October 2011, the no-fly zone was lifted and two grounded Jamea rear Air Force Mirages that had been based in Malta after their pilots refused orders to bomb the opposition during the civil war, were to be returned to Libya in February 2012. The jets were finally returned to Libya on February 21, 2012, exactly a year to the day after they defected. Military airports, 
Military Air Force bases include Mitiga, formerly USAF Relis Air Base, later Okba Ben Nafi, when used by Soviet Air Force. Martin Al Sar Air Base, Benina, Misratra Airport, Adaba Air Base Map near Sirt, Adams Airport, Sabah Air Base, Bader, Tobruk, El Adim, at Airport, Al Jufra Air Base. Present, on June 20, 2012, the Air Force Chief of Staff, SAQ Arj Rushi, announced plans for the rebuilding of the Libyan Air Force. The plans included proposals for the purchase of two squadrons of French Rafale fighter aircraft, a number of British Eurofighter Typhoons, and additional new French F-1 Mirage jets, American C-130H Hercules cargo planes and CH-47 Chinook helicopters a Euro as to post a Euro 2011 Air Force inherited some intact Mirages, C-130Hs and CH-47s following the Civil War. As the situation deteriorated with the country sliding into the Second Libyan Civil War, any ambitious plan was scrapped in face of the reality with the remaining Gaddafi regime era airframes divided between the opposing factions. In the following months, both the internationally recognized government and the opposing new General National Congress flew a limited number of air operations against each other. The Air Force of the internationally recognized government could receive some limited supplies of MiG-21s and Mi-8 from the Egyptian Air Force too. Aircraft equals current inventory equals See also, National Transitional Council, Free Libyan Air Force References Sources, World Aircraft Information Files Bright Star Publishing, London File 337 Sheet 03 Further reading, Libyan Air Force article, Air Forces Monthly, September 2010.